You need an assistant. You need an assistant to pump for you, I right? Might. Uh, please don't stab yourself, okay? No, it's coming out. Okay, careful, careful. Uh oh. Oh no, it's just that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, oh, no. what happened? Is he pumping? Pressure? Oh no. So, this is the reveal moment here. And uh, Joe, what are we gonna do here? We're, gonna... uh, we're just gonna cut okay. this baby off here. Okay. And look at how how ginormous this thing here is. And this has been growing for how many days? For five months. Five months. Five All right. months. And you've trimmed it uh, down so that you only kept one yeah, zucchini, right? Okay. Here's much. a big reveal moment here. And Joe is going to sever the zucchini. And here he goes, right off the stem here. And wow, that is huge, man. All right. So the biggest uh, zucchini in the city, right, of Los Altos. Los Altos. <laughs> Los Altos. That is uh, easily, what, maybe three feet easy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're gonna go wait and measure it. We're gonna carry this to Alaska. I'm not sure how yet. I meant to buy a seat for it, right, on an airplane. <laughs> the, uh, what does the luggage scale say? 14.8. 14.8, okay, you probably dried up on the vine. <laughs> the yeah, it's something that's weird. 14.8, wow, nice. All right, there you have it, folks. We're going to carry Joe's zucchini with us on the airplane, head there to Anchorage, Alaska for the big informal Alaskan Barbecue Association throwdown. So, uh, Joe, this will be an entry representing California, right? It took you five Excellent. months to grow. We will uh, see how it cooks and how it tastes like. picking briskets here in Alaska and uh, we have uh, Butcher's Daughter, Rick's Righteous Ribs and uh, Mike from Alaskan Barbecue Association. They are torn. They cannot pick the brisket. They went through the entire <laughs> pile already. They've shaken the floppy test. They're looking at size, striation and marbling and they are just completely conflicted. Amanda, what do you think? What, what, do, you, what do you pick? They both taste good. They both taste good. Okay, alright. So we're going to cook a brisket as a muse item for our class here in Alaska. And it's going to be fun to see these three pit masters here figure out what size, symmetry, striation, and marbling they're going to settle for. We'll keep you guys posted on the next chapter on this segment, Cooking Briskets in Alaska. Uh, Jeremy Peel from Holy Trinity Bar Barbecue out of Palmer, Alaska. And what are you doing? And we're shooting up a brisket. <laughs> <laughs> with, with with some uh, butcher's uh, bird booster. Bird booster into a what animal is this? Oh, got beef brisket. Okay, beef brisket. So there you go, folks. For those out there who think you cannot be done, you can shoot up a bird injection into a cow. No problemo. It's amazing view, cooking brisket as a news item for our class here for the Alaskan Barbecue Association. So we are injecting the zucchini now. Thoreau's first giant zucchini injection. Morgan. Morgan, Morgan. from? Uh, from Andouille Barbecue. Andouille Barbecue is going to inject it and he's filling it up with the injection liquid. We use a little bit of butcher injection and he's going to try to do it without killing himself. <laughs> All right, we're injecting the zucchini here. And we're going to cook the whole hot zucchini small. here. All right, cutting some uh, garlic and making some Italian style. Zucchini, beautiful day in Alaska, having a barbecue class.